Hello, I'm I'm back only for a short time. Recently the Lord has been having me rest and I mean it's just a lot of stuff. Um you know there are some things he has shared with me. I'm not released to say everything yet. I have to be careful with my words, especially in this moment in time. See people, there is a heavy darkness that's coming in. Those with your eyes that are open, pay attention to what's going on around you. But like I always say, do not fear. Keep your focus on the Lord Jesus. He's leading me to speak on perseverance right now and keeping your eyes on him. First, it started with a dream where I was witnessing to a group of people that were sitting at a restaurant that were talking about all the bad that was going on in the world. And I had let them know we are in the last days, that Jesus is coming very soon. That they need to keep their eyes on him and they need to stay and get in repentance and they need to just hold on. So with that being said, I'm going to start at Jude 17 through 25, where I was led to speak. But beloved, remember the words which were spoken before the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ, how that they told you there should be mockers in the last time who should walk after their own ungodly lusts. These be they who separate themselves sensual, having not the spirit, but you, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life, and of some having compassion, making a difference, and others, save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garment spotted by the flesh. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory, with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen. See, there are some really dark things going on right now. Thousands of cows are mysteriously turning up dead, as well as sheep. Um, farmers are being paid government subsidies, I think that's what it's called, to destroy their crops. They are purposely causing a famine. They want civil unrest. I have seen over this past year, maybe even longer, a civil war or a civil uprising of some sort. The Lord has shown me and that's what they want. They want that to happen so that they can get martial law and so that they can put their control tactics to use on the people so that they can kill and destroy. Just keep your eyes on Jesus and not on the storm. Do not let these things take you by surprise. Make sure you are preparing, as I always say. You know, there was a, a word recently that the Lord gave me about a month ago before Road V Way was overturned. And, you know, I've been dealing with things lately and I didn't speak probably when I should have. And let's just, just put it this way. This is of God. Although the enemy seems to be setting some sort of trap. The overturning of Road V Way was not only to save the unborn, but it was meant for the Lord to use this to expose the worthless physicians, those who are behind all of this. It, you know, these people are going to be made fools on the world stage and are going to be exposed to the general public. It's going to help to distinguish the division.